Hello and welcome to Humanities 152 Cultures of America. Um, this will be the first lecture in this class. It'll be a shorter lecture and the idea of it is just to help get some of the main elements from the class and to walk you through Blackboard a little bit. This course will be completely online and it's also an accelerated course, meaning we have less than half a semester, yet we still need to cover the same amount of course materials. My name's Jennifer A. Fraley. Um, you can refer to me as Professor Fraley, Dr. Fraley, uh, Ms. Fraley. I don't mind. Um, do not call me Mrs. Fraley. That is my mother, and I will assume you want to talk to her. My email here is, you can see my University of Louisville email, it's just jennifer.fraley at louisville.edu. This will be our main way of communicating with each other. Please use, and I'll talk about this later, please be sure to use your U of L um, email because that's the only email system I actually have access to uh, with the entire class. Okay, so beginning through. This presentation is help to help you understand some of the expectations and requirements of the course. With an online course, you are largely responsible for making sure you complete the work and on time. You'll also learn how to navigate some of the different content areas that I've created on our Blackboard shell. To begin with, the syllabus. The syllabus is the most important document for the class. Basically, it is your instruction guide. You will see on the left-hand side of Blackboard that there is a link to the syllabus. It's an online course. You're not required to print it out. However, I would um, suggest printing out the last two pages, which is the calendar of the course. That tells you what topics we're covering, what the assignments are, and it has your important due dates on it. Be sure to refer to the syllabus for all policies, descriptions of assignments, the grade breakdown, U of L uses a plus and minus system, and also all of your due dates are on this. All right, the next important thing is your weekly schedule. We will run this class week by week. So what happens is at the beginning of each week, I will post all of the materials that you need, and then you will have until the end of week to complete them. Our week, since our class starts on Monday, March 30, <laughs> Monday, March 6th, our week will start on Monday mornings and will run to 11.59 p.m. on Sundays. Now, that means all materials for that week, so week one, which starts on the 6th, all materials for that week are due by Sunday at 11.59. You are more than welcome to complete them earlier if you would like. However, they have to be in by that Sunday at 11.59 unless otherwise noted. Now, with this course, our second week is actually spring break. Unfortunately, you still have work during that spring break. Again, this is an accelerated course. We only have eight weeks, and the week eight is actually final exam week. So I can't skip spring break. However, if you'll look on the syllabus, and you'll see this noted on week two, instead of your weekly assignments being due on Sunday, I actually give you till the Tuesday of week three to turn those in, just in case you're traveling, you have a couple extra days. Typically, what each week will involve is you will have readings from each week, I try to keep these not short, because again, this is an accelerated course, but definitely manageable. You may have readings that if you see on the schedule BB, that means I've posted a PDF for you on Blackboard. You have two textbooks for this course, The People's History of the Supreme Court, and which I'll abbreviate PHSC. Please pay attention to the page numbers that I assign you. Very rarely do I have you reading an entire chapter and then the other text I had you buy is called Farewell to Manzanar. And we will be looking at this. This is a memoir. And we will be looking at this in our Asian American section. Now, these, the readings from Farewell to Manzanar are probably the longest readings. However, this is a very easily read textbook. In fact, my niece read it in eighth grade. Um, so the weeks that says chapters one through six, honestly, you can probably get those read in an hour or so. It's a very light, uh, more enjoyable reading. So please don't feel overwhelmed by that. 
Each week you will also have online lectures such as this one to listen to. This week you have three different ones that usually will not be the case, um, but the first is this welcome lecture. There's a short 10 minute why humanities lecture and then the what is American lecture. In the following weeks, there typically will only be one lecture that covers all of the subject area. Then each week in this course, you will have a weekly quiz and a weekly discussion board post. Um, the quizzes are designed to make sure you have listened to the lectures and done the reading. Typically, the quizzes will not open till Tuesday or Wednesday, and then they will close Sunday at 11.59 unless otherwise noted. The discussion boards will post Monday mornings, and then you'll have all week to comment on those. And we'll talk about the discussion boards in more detail in a little bit. Each week with the quiz, you will get specific information on them. But typically, how I run those is they're all the each discussion board is 20 points, each quiz is 20 points. And usually on the quizzes, you only have one attempt to take them. There is no backtracking the questions you get in random order, and you only see them one at a time. The first quiz will be a little different than that. Why? Because there's a little more material, and I want to make sure you've looked at the syllabus. So the first quiz you can take multiple times, you can backtrack, um, but that will only be for the first quiz. Now, additionally, you sometimes will get other assignments. This, for this class, you will have two essays that you are going to write. They are assigned on week three and on week six, and they're due week five, and the final is due week eight. You will see those posted within the weeks, and then usually I will also send an announcement out for that. With this class, uh, you do not have a final exam. Instead, we have a, the final essay that is due. Now we're going to look at navigating Blackboard. The following slides are going to walk you through some of the different buttons to help you see what areas are very important for this class. And I've given you a little image on the left. This doesn't line up exactly with our class, but you get the idea. First is your home page. This button will take you back to your U of L home page. Here you can also see recent announcements, list of upcoming tasks, and your to-do list. Next are announcements. These will this area will contain any announcements I send to the class. This can include cancellation notices, which for us probably won't happen since it's an online course, possibly reminders of pending due dates, but please don't be dependent on those. It's up to you to remember the due dates or any other topic of importance if I change something um, or just want to send out information. Also with announcements, I will have Blackboard send you an email alerting you about any new announcements. So please be sure you are checking your U of L email. And then again, the weekly schedule button. This is probably after the syllabus, the most important area for you. What I've done is under this, you'll see each week, you can see here it says week number one, and on yours I've actually included the dates. When you click on that, you will see your assigned readings. You will see, and then the assigned readings, if it's a one that I've posted on Blackboard, below inside that folder, they will be there. Obviously, if they're from your textbook, I just tell you what pages you need to read it from your text. You will also see here the links to the lectures. And what I do with the online lectures is I actually create YouTube videos of them. And so what you'll see is I then create a link to the YouTube video. The reason why I do this is because that way it doesn't take up so much information um, and space on the Blackboard system because unfortunately we have limited amounts. So if you're not able to get the lectures to play, check your computer, your security settings, because again, these are going to be links to YouTube videos that I create. Also, under the weekly schedule, there will be a link to that week's discussion board that you can click on to see the thread. And you will also have your weekly quiz that will show up. Again, those usually don't come live till about Tuesday or Wednesday, and then they also close Sunday at 11.59. Now a little bit more on the discussion boards. 
The quizzes are more designed to make sure you've read the materials, that you've done, you've listened to the lecture. The discussion boards, think of the discussion boards almost as our classroom conversation. What will happen is I will create a thread, meaning I will post something with specific elements for you to answer. Please look at these carefully. Most often these will have different elements in them. This is your opportunity to show me your critical thinking, that not only you've read and listened to the materials, but that you've processed it and thought about it. When you want to answer this, you just create your own thread um, in the forum that I have created. Most often, you will not be able to see your classmates' post until you have created your own. Now watch, sometimes I will ask you to respond to your classmates. This is a way of kind of generating, think about it, a class conversation. Now when you respond to your classmates, I want you to respond to the content area. So responses such as, oh, I like your post, or I agree with you, will not get you any points. What I want to see is a, a, an engagement with, the com with, a, with one another. And again, these discussion boards are worth 20 points each week. Going with that, after you have posted your discussion board, then you will be able to see your other classmates post, and then you'll be able to reply on them if it is required that week. But again, please take note and make sure you're answering each part of the discussion boards. All right, the next link you have is the My Grades link. This is a direct link to your grades. I'll post your grades here once the assignment has been graded. Um, you'll also be able to see your current letter grade and percentage at the end of the report. You are expected to complete all assignments completely and on time. As stated in my syllabus, if you missed four assignments, it's just like missing four classes, and you can actually fail the course for this. You must turn in all major assignments, meaning the midterm paper and the final paper. If you do not turn in any of these, you automatically fail the course. Um, also, please do not email me asking when your grades will be posted. I try to get them posted very quickly, um, but please do not email saying, well, they're not up yet. Now, if you are seeing that for some reason there's a mistake in your grade, please feel free to email me about that. All right, and then just some other little buttons. There's the tools button. This will take you directly to all the tools available through Blackboard. You can email myself, obviously, and your classmates through the email button there. If you click email and you click select users, you'll see all the names of your classmates on there. So if you have questions and you don't want to ask me, or if you have a specific question for a classmate, you have access to their email through there. Um, the help button will take you to Blackboard help for students, so if you're having any technical difficulties, please see that there. Um, also, additionally with help, if you are taking a test or a quiz and there is some sort of computer error, please take a screenshot of that and email me at, as soon as possible. That way I can, sadly, usually on quizzes, the only thing I can do is reset the quiz, but that way I can see there was some sort of error and we can take care of it. And then your U of L email. We will be using the University of Louisville email system to communicate in this course. That is your email that is linked to Blackboard. Now this includes in emails between individuals and groups. Every student has a working U of L email account, so that is the one we'll be using. And with that, you need to check this email at least once a day. This is an online course. Online communications are the only way we have to talk with each other. Please do not use your personal email, only your University of Louisville email. And I usually respond to emails very quickly. In fact, if I haven't responded to your email within about 12 hours, I'm perfectly fine with you emailing me again. All right, so that takes us through um, the course. It's just a brief overview. Again, most important parts, read through the syllabus, get a feel for the course, and then look at those weekly schedules. The weekly schedules will tell you your readings, what lectures you need to listen to, and what assignments you have. 
Remember, each week you have a discussion board and a weekly quiz that are worth 20 points each. Total for the semester, that's 280 points. Then you also have a midterm essay, which is 100 points, and you'll get a prompt on that, and like I said, in week three. And you have a final essay, which is 200 points. Please don't think discussion boards and weekly quizzes are not important because in this course, there's actually only 580 available points. So please make sure you're paying attention and not missing these assignments. Take time to familiarize yourself with Blackboard. And again, in an online course, it's your responsibility to ensure you know how to use the tools and that you complete the assignments on time. If something happens, Blackboard crashes, or if there's some other issue, we will deal with those at the time. But remember, the honest of this is actually on you. If you ever have any questions or concerns about anything for the course, please feel free to email me. I happily will answer questions over email, and I will be on UofL's campus. My office is actually in Stevenson 207, so if you would like to meet in person, email me, and I will happily schedule a time to go over any materials, to look at drafts for paper, whatever you need. Um, with that, welcome to the course. Um, I'm excited to teach this course. It's actually one of my favorite classes to teach. And I think it's a very relevant topic, especially with what's going on in our society today. Um, again, if you have any questions or concerns, do not hesitate to reach out to me. And welcome to Cultures of America.